Up, up, and away. One company is taking flight by making it easy to charter a helicopter ride with just a few clicks on your phone. Joining us right now is the CEO of Blade, Rob Wiesenthal, joining us right now. Rob, good to see you. Thanks. I'm for a big fan me. of of Blade, and I know a lot wow. of in our audience uh, is as well. Take us behind the idea and how is business today. Well. Blade is doing really well after two years. Uh, what we've done is we've taken a really easy to use mobile experience and we've coupled that with an on the ground experience with the lounge network that kind of harkens back to uh, uh, a time when you look forward to flying. And we couple that with a crowdsourcing model that really lowers the price of the kind of aircraft, whether it be jets or helicopters or turboprops that enable you to lower the price. So if there's a, a big issue, let's say in New York City, and I know I can't get to the airport uh, because it's so crowded and I'm, I'm having issues, I can actually set up a ride, uh, a flight in, in, in the helicopter, and if other people want to go at that time, the cost that I'm paying goes down. That's true. Uh, but also you can, it is the first on-demand aviation product. So you can take your phone and immediately within 30 seconds book a helicopter and that helicopter will be waiting for you in tw 20 minutes later Wow! Uh, for a five minute flight to the airport and that's about uh, $895 or you could join a crowdsourced flight for $295 for that a five minute ride uh, and that really is uh, interesting because you think about it a black car is probably getting close to that price. That is incredible and, and, and you've got the luxury and the quickness of a flight in a helicopter. Yes and with it if, frankly the combination of an unprecedented amount of uh, construction in Manhattan, plus 50,000 ride-sharing cars, the moving of the center of gravity of Manhattan to down and west. Uh, now airlines are recommending from the west side to give about three hours of time before your flight. We, our average uh, traveler leaves about 35 minutes before their flight or 45 minutes. That's excellent. And then you just, you, you have a very nice lounge, so you go right from the lounge to the, to the chopper. Let me ask you this, when there's a big event happening and you know that there's going to be lots of delays for people, do you hike the price? No, there's no Because there's that's no what Uber price. does. I wanted to get to that because people get really angry at that. No, that's what Uber does. We don't uh, embrace surge pricing. We want some consistency in product. If you fly us, say, to the Hamptons on July 4th, it's the same price if you fly us in February. All right, so the Hamptons is one idea. And, and these sort of weekend places around New York, that has been part of the bread and butter up late for a Absolutely. long time. Absolutely. Right? It's about uh, short distance aviation where there are pain points. Obviously, going to the airport is a huge pain point in terms terms of friction, going to the eastern end of Long Island where drives can be three to five hours on bad weekends, getting there in 30 minutes. It really changes the architecture of your trip and we hope it makes you look forward it's to flying. It's pretty incredible. You can go from New York City to Southampton or East Hampton in 35 to 43 minutes. How many people on each helicopter? Uh, up to six. And uh, there's a mix between scheduled service and crowdsourced service. I think the ability to launch your own flight, name it, share it on social media. Uh, you're essentially chartering a helicopter that used to cost $6,000 flying when you want and buying only the seats you need for about five, six hundred dollars each. You've, you've got a service called Blade Bounce. We've, we've, we've talked about it, but name it. This allows to, travelers to book the helicopter ride from New York City to take them to an airport nearby. Or from the airport back to the city, okay. which sometimes is even more important yeah. because uh, sometimes the traffic in Manhattan going west is as bad as the traffic from the airports in Manhattan. Again, moving that, that center of gravity to, uh, you know, because of Hudson Yards and the High Line plus White House North being in the center of Manhattan. <laughs> Trump Tower, sure. Yes, all that has created a tremendous amount of traffic and friction, and we see the growth being really strong right now. Where does the growth come from next? I know that you also offer aviation services beyond, beyond helicopters. You've got the Blade One program offering private jet service between New York and Miami. Correct. Is this the growth story right now of Blade? What are the other we services? We will always be a short distance aviation uh, company, but we want to also go where our travelers go. So if you fly like you do, say, to the eastern end of Long Island, the summer, you may be going to Florida in the winter. Uh, so what we've done is we've taken a 60-person commercial jet, retrofitted it for 16 people, combined that with helicopter service from Manhattan, and for about uh, $1,700, you fly from Manhattan to a jet, and that jet goes to our Blade Lounge in Miami. And it's a terrific experience that kind of exceeds first class and uh, really, as I said, goes back to the kind of days you know, when MGM Grand was terrific mm. and going back to the 60s. We had more space, you know, more personal experience, and again, you avoid uh, congestion 
commercial airports. Real quick, characterize bookings for us. How is business going now? There is increasing optimism that the economy picks up steam as we see regulations coming in. You're a small business. Is this going to move the needle for you in terms of growth and demand? You know, I, I think it really comes down to optimism on the part of our consumer. Uh, and sometimes when there's a little trepidation, we'll see a little takeoff in terms of uh, demand. But right now, the numbers are strong. It's continuing. The airport product is growing very, very well, as well as a product called Blade Anywhere, which is short distance charter uh, anywhere in the United States. So right. it seems pretty good. Really interesting stuff. Rob, good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks so much. Rob Wiesenthal, CEO of Blade there. Come